Hey y'all, it's your girl Tashonda Renee and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm showing you how to make the best omelet. So if you would like to see how I do it, please stay tuned. For this omelet, I'm using very simple ingredients. I'm going to start with melting one and a half tablespoons of butter over a medium heat. To my skillet, I'm going to add onions, green peppers, and about one ounce of turkey. I did roughly chop all of those ingredients. For your omelet, you can add whatever ingredients that you would like. However, you want to be sure to cook them according to what's going to take the longest to cook because you're not going to take this out of the skillet until the omelet is done. I'm going to allow this to cook for about four to five minutes over a medium heat. And then I'm going to add some fresh spinach. Spinach cooks really quick. So once you add it, you're just going to move it around in the skillet. And it's pretty much done after a couple minutes. Also, if you would like to, you can lightly season your spinach right now with just a little salt and pepper. Um, it is not necessary as you're going to season your eggs. You want to be sure to prepare your eggs prior to cooking your um, additional toppings so to a bowl I'm gonna add three large eggs to the eggs I'm actually gonna add pancake batter the pancake batter doesn't have to be anything fancy I'm just using a store-bought pancake mix um, for three eggs I would add about one to one and a half tablespoons of pancake batter Adding the pancake batter to your eggs really does take your omelet to another level. So still over a medium heat, you want to go ahead and add your eggs over the toppings in the pan. It's important to do this over a medium heat. You could even do it over a medium low heat because you want to avoid burning your omelet. Um, you can also go ahead and season your eggs. I'm just using salt and black pepper. You're just going to season it based on how you normally season your scrambled eggs. I'm going to allow the omelet to cook for a couple minutes, about two to three minutes. You want to cook it long enough to allow your eggs to set on the surface but you still want the eggs to be kind of runny on the top. You'll know the eggs are set when you can take a spatula and run it around the surface of the pan. Now I'm going to add some cheese and you can add as much or little cheese as you would like. I'm using about a fourth of a cup of mild cheddar cheese. Immediately after I add the cheese, I'm going to go ahead and fold my omelet. So you're just going to fold it in on each side of the egg. Don't worry about the eggs still being runny or your cheese not melting. The heat from the pan will continue to cook the eggs and melt the cheese. Now, my omelet busted open because I have quite a few toppings in it. If you care about your omelet not busting, just don't add as many ingredients as I did. So, as you can see, my way of making an omelet is very, very easy. And it's also an easy way to use up any leftovers you may have. You can pretty much add any ingredients to the eggs and it's going to make a great omelet. Now to take my omelet to yet another level, I like to add salsa and sour cream. And I also usually have a piece of toast. 
I hope you all have enjoyed watching this video and I definitely hope you will give this omelet style a try. If you do, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Um, check out the description box if you want a list of the ingredients and measurements that I use to make this omelet. And um, if you have not already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.